hey guys welcome back to the channel in today's video you're going to learn how to download the source code of any given website i made a video on how to do this but i found this method useful and very easy to work with and that's why i'm making this second video this is a disclaimer those of you who are planning to use this method for illegalities it will not work for you okay so let's get a tutorial started. In order to do this, you need a Chrome extension. So go to Chrome or Google and type. So type save all resources. Click on the first link. And this will take you to Chrome Web Store. Click here to add it to your browser. Okay. So in your case, you will see something like this. Add to Chrome or add to Opera. So just click on it. I have it installed on my browser. And that's why you're seeing remove from Opera. So go ahead and add this Chrome extension to your browser. Once you have that added, the next thing you need to do is to go to your website, the target. The website you want to download okay so let me reload it okay here is it now right click on any part of the website and then blue click on inspect elements and wait for it Now you see a page like this or a new window. Click on this arrow. Okay. So click on it. And below, you can see the Chrome we installed. And that is Resources Saver. Click on it. And wait for a while. Now you see a screen like this. This is resource. Sorry, resource saver. Okay, click on beautify JS HTML CSS code before download. So you click on it here, and then click on include all assets. So click on that one too, and wait. On top here, you can see waiting for reload. Guess wait it will do its thing so right now it is reloading the page and it's going to download the website it has reloaded the page and to your left you see this window you can see some progress here. Just wait for it. And you can see on top here, save all resources. So click on save all resources like this and wait. Okay. right now it is downloading the whole website so you can see download and down here you can see compressed so it's compressing your whole website after compressing it it will download it onto your pc so let's wait for the download process to complete
now finally you can see the file is automatically downloading so wait for it to complete after that we'll go and view this website this file and open it on our pc without internet connection and below when you scroll you can see some resource folders created here and almost all of them are done okay now that everything is complete let's click here to open this folder so we click here to open it now you can see a new window this is where or this is my downloads folder Please let me maximize it so that you can see it clearly. Now let me take you to the top and you can see this is the website. We first of all need to extract it. So we right click on it. And then click on extract files. Now let's click on OK and wait for the folder to get extracted. Now we are done extracting the folder. Let's open it and see what is inside it. And right now it is 1.61 megabyte. So we double click on it to open it and see what is inside it. Now right now you can see your website with a lot of files here. The one we need is the last one which contains your website address so let's double click on it to open it perfect now you can see index here let's click on index okay so let's open this with our browser so i'll go ahead and disconnect my internet connection okay Okay, so right now I don't have any internet connection. So let's wait for it to open. Now let me take you to the browser. And right now you can see that the website is downloaded and it is opened. Okay. And here is it. So I'll go ahead and view all the the code so let me take you back there and show you you can see and because it is a wordpress website you can see our wp content is downloaded and our includes folder to is downloaded so let me take you to wp content now here you can see the plugins you use you can see that and the team color mark and when we go to uploads we can see our uploads folder so assuming this website was a coded website a website we coded manually or someone coded manually you could have viewed the code itself so let me take you to the teams the team now let's go to the team itself and you can see because it is a team we have the font also the font itself the javascript and the style okay now you can go back and then 
open your index file with your code editor okay so after doing this you see the code used on this website hey guys i hope you enjoyed the video now if you're a freelancer i have good news for you this website hoodly.com is currently looking for a lot of freelancers if you're a freelancer or you have some any sort of digital skills go right now create account here and publish your services take this opportunity to occupy the home page of hoodly that way you increase your chance of getting a lot of sales i've made my first sale on hoodly you will regret it also in the description of this video the first link it will take you to, if you click on it it will take you to a page just like this this is a project i'm undertaking and it's a project that will change our lives go right now watch this video and this video will explain everything you need to know about the project okay so thank you once again for watching this video tutorial i'll see you in the next one but wait if you're not subscribed already do me a favor by subscribing that way anytime i release content like this you are notified bye bye